It's, we've had a lot of people ask, uh, what does changing this mTOR on the factory settings does? So this is part of the process of bypassing the freeze dry loop. As you see, the mTORs are barely moving. It was 157, it's down to 156. Uh, I did the function test on this new machine. Uh, have done nothing to the machine at all. Um, honestly, I got a machine that worked directly out of the box, no issues, no nothing like that. So, uh, but if you are having that vacuum freeze loop issue, uh, this is that factory setup screen that we talk about. Uh, you're gonna hit the top right on your main screen four times, then hit the leaf once and it will get you to the screen. If I show you right now, it would actually cancel out what we're doing. So that's why I, I'm not gonna actually show you guys. But I don't think you wanna be here for like an hour watching just paint dry of the vacuum just going down. But you'll see how we're at 155. If we move this down, it's gonna move that number down a little bit, right? So what we do is move this down to zero or something around there. And it actually moves our mTOR down about 50. Um, <coughs> is what we typically see. Um, when I did all the factory stuff uh, at Harvest, right? And learned how to do some of this stuff. Typically you hook up a Super B, which is uh, checking the mTORs um, of your machine. And most of the time, they would actually move most of the machines down to zero or even negative like 75, um, which as you will see is a super low mTOR. So if you have a super good vacuum, uh, which the only way to actually verify if this is the correct mTOR is actually by having one of those machines. The machine is about $900, so obviously it's not very uh, easy for one of us to uh, probably acquire. Um, but it would be really interesting to see how good this machine's vacuum truly is. I'm going to put it at zero and I'm going to try running, um, that's typically what I will run at. Uh, but as you see, we're at 153. I would click done and then now run a batch. If I was back on the standard, which is what your machine came with, as you'll see, it goes up about... 50 m tour so that i just want to make sure i explain what we're doing when we actually tell you guys or ask you guys to move these m tours down is to change that because we're trying to get past that vacuum the software air i would say even though harvest right doesn't call it an air they say that it's uh simulate su sublimation is happening too quick I've never heard of that from any of the research that I've actually done on freeze dryers. Um, so that's what we're doing. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, I so happen to get a harvest strike machine that works directly out of the box. I will be doing other um, the other fixes that we always do to all the other machines. And I will probably end up listing this one for sale if anybody is interested in, in Alaska because the machine does work great and I'm trying to find a machine that actually is broken. So if you are in Alaska looking for a machine, I'm not trying to pitch a big sales thing, this is a repair site, but I don't need a machine that works. I'm trying to find machines that are broken. So this one will be going up on the Facebook marketplace as a working machine with a warranty that somebody can uh, register with Harvest Right because I will not be registering this one. So, thank you guys so much. Uh, Harvest Right, uh, I told you I'll tell you when you guys do stuff right. This machine, 100% right, works great. Um, so happy to see this. It's a September 2022 machine. I will be honest, most of the ones we've been working on a lot are October 2022, but this one, Great machine. I just want to give Harvest Ride a big shout out for the good machine that I have uh, gotten. So it does give some of you guys some hope, I know, to see this machine working amazing. So you guys take care. Have a great day.